It's another progress report, and we're showing you one of the ways we're bringing histology into the 21st century. We're back in Hemel Hempstead and focused now on histology and working here with an expert in the field, Peter Kilner, to talk about a brand new product and a real innovation. Peter, in the histology lab, our customers are facing really enormous challenges. Talk about them. Right now, uh, there are two things impacting them hugely. The first is baby boomers, of course. Uh, the baby boomers are retiring. That means that there are fewer people available to work in the histology labs because the youngsters are not joining the field as they were in previous days. It also means that the population is aging, so at the opposite end of the scale, you've got an increase in workload. Challenge, increased workload, fewer people to do it. In a traditional way that uh, histology works, this is a tissue cassette. Um, so tissue is taken out of a patient, sent to the laboratory. Uh, pathologist then cuts a small piece off that of what he wants to see under the microscope, puts it in the cassette, snaps it shut, goes through tissue processing. That's a series of reagents then that actually take the water out and replace it with paraffin wax. The next step in the process is what's called embedding, and there a histotechnologist will open the cassette, take out the tissue, and place it in a base mold where sh she has to hold it, place a small piece of wax in, and then wait for the wax to solidify. The point of that is that the orientation is critical because the pathologist needs to see a particular slice through a particular geometry of the tissue. Once that's cooled, uh, the cassette's placed on top, we fill the container with wax, let it cool, and then we just simply take the block out and you'll end up with a block of wax which contains your tissue specimen. We've actually removed that step in the middle, so therefore this 50-year-old technology becomes redundant in favor of a much cleaner, easier, efficient process. So show us the new technology. We call this secure set. This is the new cassette. You don't need a separate base mold, which needs cleaning, by the way. Um, it's integral inside here. When the tissue's placed in here in the right orientation, the foam holds it in place during processing so that it can't move around. Then all the histotechnologist needs to do at embedding is simply fill this cavity with wax, place it on a cold plate to cool, and then snap it open. And here's one which has been filled. There is your block get rid of the base mold, you're ready for sectioning. We take 50% of the time out, which is huge to any histology laboratory. In addition to that, we've improved quality. So, for instance, there are very small biopsies, uh, which are called needle biopsies, which look like little threads. In a standard cassette, they squiggle up like worms, you've got to straighten them out, that takes even longer, and ends up with a messy specimen. In this, we can simply lay them on the foam, they're held firm, and therefore you end up with nice, straight sections on the slide, big quality improvement. We've cut about 50% of the labor out of this process here. If you can imagine that, there are about 200 million cassettes used worldwide each year. If you were to cut half this labor out, every day you were saving about 8,000 man hours or woman hours of work. Huge. Learn more about how you can accelerate your results. Visit thermoscientific.com.